Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another Snifflebow video. Uh, this video will be a bit of a departure uh, from usual ones in that I will be showing you a specific plugin. And uh, that particular plugin is called uh, the Central Color Palette plugin. And uh, it does pretty much uh, what its name uh, describes. So let's go just have a look here. And uh, we'll go to where? Let's go to pages. And uh, we'll go to a sample page. This is the one that comes with every single WordPress site. And uh, I've already uh, enabled the kitchen sink here, they call it. And uh, here's where you can select uh, colors. Right? So if you want to change that to uh, this color, blue, that's how you do it. But you say, yeah, but gee whiz, uh, that's not my color. So I'd have to go over here and create a custom color. Let's say I want it to be, uh, oh, my favorite yellow, F2B230, right? And uh, like that. And that gets to be real bo uh, boring or a pain and you know where. And uh, another place is in your theme customizer. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it. We don't want to save that change. And I'm using the Astra theme tonight, but this works with any of them. And so you go to colors. And uh, well, here is the base colors that uh, come with WordPress. And um, yeah, yeah, whatever. We don't want that go away and then if you have elementor enabled uh, let's go to a page again and we'll go edit with elementor and it uh, really doesn't matter what we do we're going to add a section let's say we want to add a color to the section and well it's got its own set of colors well i have a real uh specific set of colors that I want and I want to be able to have those to be selected from everywhere so I don't have to go and uh, do that all the time make the changes and enter color values over and over again so that's where this plugin comes in handy now before we go there this is the first thing we need to do uh, for this to work properly and what you should do anyways when you install Elementor, let's go over to Elementor and Settings and make sure that these two boxes are checked uh, to use to disable Elementor's default colors and Elementor's default fonts. These should come from your theme always. Okay, why this isn't the default setting, I'm not sure. Um, but you set your colors and fonts in your theme and that's where they should be uh, doing so now won't change anything for elementor color picker because it's going to pick them up from the theme which is picking them up from the default wordpress ones so that's where we need to go and add a new plugin so go there and we'll search for uh, central color that's all you need to enter and the central color palette will show up so click install now and activate and now you'll find you have a central color palette item on your settings menu so here's what we want to do we want to add it to the visual editor we want to add it to the theme customizer the visual editor is the one that we first saw in WordPress, right, on a sample page. And we want to integrate it with Elementor. Now, I'll mention at the moment, Elementor is the only page builder supported. Uh, there has been a feature request uh, made uh, to the plugin developer to include a Beaver Builder here. But at the time of this video, uh, it is not yet available. So. Uh, for now, this will only uh, work with Elementor. 
And this is a handy, nice little thing. I'll just put automatic names. And it says our palette is empty. Now, the tiny MC color picker. Uh, default color palette or rainbow. The rainbow is the one you usually see. That's with the, all the multitude of colors. So we'll just leave that intact for now because it's not really important because we're going to set up our own custom colors. And this is important if you're uh, building a site that's for a brand, for example, and has a, a specific set of colors that have to be used uh, everywhere on the website. So here's, uh, we're gonna add one, and uh, pure black's not totally recommended ever, so I'm gonna add just two, 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 two. And it's called Mineshaft. And we're gonna add another one. And now here's my favorite yellow, it's called F2B230, and saffron. And uh, another one, it's kind of a purpley blue, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Blue Marguerite. Okay. And let's see. What's the other one? D1004C. And I think that's called Rasmataz. It is. Kind of a brilliant, brighty, ready pink. And then uh, nice grays. Always nice to have. Silver Chalice. And then, of course, we should always have in there. Now, there's some people say you shouldn't have white, but I do. <laughs> Anyways, now we'll save that. Now, let's go take a look. So, here's our sample page again. And, um, oh, go away with that. And uh, so, here's our color picker. And look at that, here's our colors right down on the side. So if we want to uh, add uh, a color to that one, just like that. And same with the, uh, in the customizer. Yep, uh, we don't want to save the change. Colors and background, base colors. Choose that and look at that. Here's our color palette. And here's what they were talking about with the rainbow style. Okay. And uh, if we go back to pages again and go into Elementor, we'll just add a section. Go to add a color. And over here, choose a color. And look at that. There's our colors. And uh, leftovers from Elementor's base colors. And uh, you can add as many as you want pretty well. I've gone up to eight or nine, and uh, they all show up. So, um, yeah, we'll leave. We don't want to save that. So, anyways, um, that's what I wanted to show you was this handy-dandy little palette. And you can uh, export the, uh, uh, the colors and import it into another site if you'd like. So that's kind of handy if you use the same colors on another website. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I wanted to show you. So uh, don't uh, be afraid to subscribe uh, to Sniffle Valve here on the website and also the Sniffle Valve channel. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you again next time.